Because we look at faces all day long, whether that be at work, in movies, or on YouTube videos, we've all become experts at being able to read facial expressions. Which is why if something is even slightly off in your animations, your audience can tell, and it can ruin their experience. This is often referred to as the uncanny valley. Learning to animate these tiny details can take lifelong study, but thankfully we have some tools that can allow us to capture these subtle details and apply them directly to our characters in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll show you the completely free tools that allow you to do this on a $0 budget, as well as some paid tools that will help speed up the process. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a character that's ready for facial capture, how to record your facial capture data, and how to import this data onto your character in Blender. The system that drives a lot of facial capture is known as the AR kit, and odds are you've already encountered it without even knowing. Do you remember those little funny faces on your phone or the filters on your Instagram account? Those are using the AR kit. These apps are relatively primitive, but this system also drives the epic game MetaHumans, Character Creator, and many others. The system works by manipulating 52 shape keys on a character, and combining them gives just about any expression a human can make. You can totally sculpt these 52 shapes by hand, but that's extremely time consuming and requires quite a bit of skill to get the shapes correct. If you'd like to experiment with this setup but you don't have your own character yet, I've prepared a MetaHuman head for you to practice with. There'll be a link in the description. For my own characters, I use the Face It add-on, which can help you create these shape keys with its auto-rigger, as well as having some useful tools for importing the motion capture, which I'll show you later. Face It is great for rigging characters that you've already created, but it doesn't make characters for you. If you want some tools that can automatically generate humanoid characters for you, I would recommend either Human Generator, Character Creator, or the free MB Labs. Both Human Generator and Character Creator use the AR kit and build the 52 shape keys for you automatically, which makes them really easy to set up. Unfortunately, MB Labs, although it is free, doesn't build those shape keys, so you'll need to use Faceit to create them or manually sculpt them yourself. Now out of these three, I think Human Generator is going to be the best bang for your buck you're going to get. Human Generator is incredibly cheap, starting at $68 for a personal license or $128 for a commercial license. For the price, these models are astoundingly good quality. However, if you want even higher quality, the best tool currently available has to be Character Creator 4. Character Creator starts at $300, but honestly, the default package is missing a lot of features, and realistically, you'll probably end up buying the Digital Human Essentials bundle, which sits around $1,100. Now that's obviously a huge jump from $68, so make sure that you need that extra quality before forking over your hard-earned cash. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the free MetaHuman in the description so that everyone can follow along. So now you have a character at the ready, it's time to figure out how you're going to record your facial capture data. For this, we have three options. We have a free option for iPhone users, a free option for Android users, and for those looking for a top-tier solution, we're going to be taking a look at Rococo's pipeline. For iPhone users, the Unreal Live Link app is the way to go. Unlike most apps that ask you to start paying after about 5 seconds of use, the Unreal app is actually free, and it's extremely easy to use. If you don't have an iPhone, don't fret. For you Android users, I would recommend using the Face Landmark Link app. This free program is great because it can extract your facial data from a video, meaning anyone with a camera or a phone can use it. Personally, I've been using the Rococo suite of tools for the past couple of years, so I was thrilled when Rococo agreed to come on board as sponsors for this video. Now, if the only thing you're interested in is facial capture, this is probably going to be a bit of overkill. The Rococo Indie Bundle becomes useful for anyone looking to do full body capture, and offers extra features for both body capture and facial capture. The bundle includes their bodysuit, the gloves, a head rig for facial capture, and an annual subscription to their software. This entire setup will set you back $2,995, so it's clearly not an entry-level tool. But it's the system that I've been using for the past couple of years, for both my freelancing work and for the short films that I've developed. Although this was a hefty investment at the time, it's paid for itself more than 10 times over. If you're interested in body capture, or you'd just like to see how well the suit performs, check out my previous video where I compared the Rococo suit to the latest AI tools available. Let's talk about head rigs. The first rule of head rigs is you don't talk about head rigs. That's Fight Club. I meant to say you don't need a head rig. You don't need a head rig. They're not necessary. If you only want facial capture, you can literally just hold your phone and speak into it. Although I would recommend having some kind of a stand so that you can get into character without holding the phone. A head rig is most useful when you want to record body capture and facial capture at the same time. Although you can do them separately, repeating the same performance exactly the same twice in a row is very difficult, even for seasoned actors. 
As part of their sponsorship, Rococo sent me one of their head rigs to try out. This thing is super lightweight, but it's still very sturdy. It's got this weight in the back that helps you balance it out once you put the iPhone in the front. And they also have an Android version for you non-iPhone users. It can be worn for quite some time before it starts to put a little bit of strain on the back of your neck, and the phone doesn't move around too much when you flick your head around. Now, if Rococo isn't sending you free stuff, this sucker will set you back $295, or it does come as part of their indie bundle. Which I know sounds like a lot of money, but just for fun, I compared it to the Facewear solutions and, well, their indie version starts at $5,750, and their advanced system is just shy of $30,000. Now, I'm sure you get some very powerful tools for that price. I damn well hope you do anyway. But the Rococo helmet is literally 1% the price of the Facewear solution, and the entire indie bundle is one tenth. Now, if that's out of your price range, but you still really want a head rig, it is possible to make your own. This here is the head rig that I was using on my Pokemon short film. Uh, it's literally a bike helmet with a selfie stick bolted to the side. Now, this thing is quite a bit heavier than the Rococo rig, and it also moves around a fair bit when you wiggle your head back and forth. It's also missing that weight at the back to balance it out with the iPhone. But this thing cost me less than $100 to make, and there's something really nice about making films with your own janky hardware. By now you have a character, and you've recorded your facial capture data. How do you get that data onto your character? First, let's have a look at the free solution. For this pipeline, you'll most likely have used either the Landmark add-on or the Unreal app. Export your facial capture from Landmark or Unreal as a CSV file. In Blender, we'll use the free Live Link Face add-on. To import the data onto the character, load the objects into the target slot. For this character, that's the head, eyes, and teeth. Then load the CSV file. This add-on only imports the shape keys, so if you have audio, load that into the video sequencer. For optimal playback, set the playback to sync to audio. You may also need to adjust your frame rate depending on what speed you record it in, although the add-on should be doing this by default. That's it. Working facial capture. Ah, you think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. You may notice some spots where the lip sync feels a little off. This is usually around sounds like m, mm, b, and p, the sounds where the lips need to close. If you have these problems, you can use the NLA editor to tweak your animation. Jump over to the dope sheet, then pick the shape key editor. Use the push down button to store your current animation. Then you can simply keyframe your adjustments. So I'll go to a spot where I know there needs to be a b sound and close the mouth slightly. I've done this enough times that I know the shape key I want to tweak here is the mouth funnel shape. So I'll set that to zero and keyframe it. Now when we play back the render, although this is a small change, it feels so much better. Ah, you think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. This is a great system, but using shape keys is a clunky way to animate. I personally prefer animating with a rig. So let's have a look at the Face It add-on to see how we can streamline this process. Again, export your data from Landmark or Unreal as a CSV file. In Blender, we can use the Face It add-on to create a rig for our model. Start by registering the eyes, face, and teeth in the Setup menu. Under the Assign Vertex Group menu, assign the head. If you're using your own model, also assign the eyes and teeth, but this model already has its shape keys set up, so we can skip this step. Go to the Rig menu and choose Generate Landmarks, and line up the Landmark Rig by clicking and dragging to scale its shape. Feel free to tweak the placement of any of these points. The Face It documentation has information on exactly where you want to place these. Then hit the Project Landmarks button. From here we can go to the Control menu and generate the Control Rig. If you jump into pose mode on the rig, you should now be able to use these controls to animate the shape keys. Now we can load in the mocap data by going to the mocap menu, import, live link face. Face it has this convenient auto load audio button, which as the name suggests, will also import your audio at the same time. If we import the data, you'll get this rather massive options box. Don't stress, the default options should work just fine. Again, if we want to make those little tweaks to the lips, we can do that via the dope sheet, and this time we want the action editor rather than the shape key editor. Set a keyframe and adjust the mouth funnel shape. I was born in it, molded by it. 
I didn't see the light until I was already a man. And finally we have the Rococo setup. With Rococo we can get both body and facial capture. Export an FBX from Rococo, making sure to check the facial data checkbox. In Blender, import the FBX you exported from Rococo. This will import both the body skeleton and a face mesh. For now, I'll ignore the body data. If you'd like to see how to properly import body data, check out this other tutorial. Under the mocap menu, choose the shape key retargeter dropdown. Select the face as the source object and select the control rig as the target. You'll first need to initialize the data to make sure that all the shape key names match up. You can then retarget the motion capture, making sure to select the appropriate action for the source object. Having this data on the rig then allows us to use the NLA editor to make tweaks to the animation. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the NLA editor. I use the animation layers add-on instead, but that is completely a personal choice. As much as I love animation layers, you do not need it for this step. Okay, we've covered a heap of information in this video, so here's a quick summary. For people needing a free solution, use the Unreal Live Link app if you have an iPhone or the Landmark add-on for Android users. Import the mocap data directly onto your character using the Live Link face add-on. For a paid solution with a few more options, automatically create a character, most likely with either human generator or character creator. Use Faceit to create a facial rig for your character. If you only need facial capture data, record with either the Unreal Live Link app or the Landmark add-on. If you want full body capture, record with Rococo Studio and their phone app. Use Faceit to import the mocap data onto the facial rig. If you need body capture, again, check out this tutorial for more information. If you want some more information on the Rococo suit or you'd like to see some AI alternatives, this video should be your next watch.